ROCpodcasts.com. Eric Radio. Oh, it's so awful, you're going to love it. In front of faces, their lips begin a flapping. They talk about world and local news reports, and even Steph Michaels, cause she's a doggy whore. Corey says, Man, Man it's a goddamn joke. joke. Corruption, Corruption is abundant, and the POTUS is a hoax. Stacy says, Man, I'd like to act, but Americans are lazier than most, that's fact. So go get a bowl, a spoon, and some cereal, and sit your ass down, it's time for Air Wreck Radio. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking, and thank you for choosing Air Rep Radio. We'd like to apologize in advance if there's any inconvenient cause, but, uh, we're going down. Thank you for joining us on Air Rec Radio. This is the third and final part of the Air Rec Radio episode 36 extravaganza that uh, was a show that was to introduce Bill, my partner in my new show, a podcast. What turned into a night of drinking and loud conversation among big men. Uh, the audio following is basically uncut, minus a few, you know, noticeable audio cues that let, that were me, I cut out because either they were total silence, we weren't recording, I, we weren't in the room, or it was just totally inaudible. Warning, if this is the first time you've listened to Eric Radio, please turn back. This episode is not for you. This is a deep cut back behind the scenes for the wreckheads that are loyal and have been listening. Please go back, listen to a few episodes before you listen to this one. If you're not a new listener, and you are a faithful listener, I apologize for the quality of the content we delivered to you. But, since I have it, and content is king, without further ado, I bring to you the B-Reel of Eric Radio Episode 36. <laughs> in six hours. <laughs> this is inaccurate you at its suck. best. <laughs> and we, uh, I was giving you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I've had a 30 pack in a 14 hour day. 14 hour day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done a bottle of a full quart of Bacardi in, 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 in six hours. Oh, I've been through some bottles. I, Bo- I don't have Bottles this require contest. a different, like, that's a different kind of psychology for me. Oh, yeah. Like, it's like, Listen, dude, there was one day when shit was particularly hard for me. And it was just, I don't even remember. It was just whatever my stupid problems were at the time. I got home, man, I was in a bad fucking mood. I lived all alone at the time. It was just me. And uh, I had a bad day at work, man. And it was just a bad day at work. It was the stupidest thing to be upset. It was work. Who fucking cares? It's not, it's not a big thing. And I was all fucking extra down. I went home. I fucking pounded a bottle of Jack Daniels, sat on my floor, and cried about it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a it drunk. was so, what, it what was he was pathetic. really crying about was that he finished the bottle of Jack Daniels all by himself. <laughs> Whiskey's empty. <laughs> so I don't, I don't have this fucking thought. Like, there's been days that I have drank from the moment I woke up to the moment I blacked the fuck out the next day. That was yesterday. Thank you for reminding me. No. I see I got lost. For for blacked me, out. I couldn't <laughs> tell you what I drank. Oh, I can tell you exactly what I drank. Like, okay, St. <laughs> Patrick's Day. I can almost last always year, tell you exactly Three quarters of a bottle yeah. of BB. Same two Patrick's beers. Last year. <laughs> I didn't have a job. 
but I had a fistful of cash. Nice. This is uh, the best way to bar. be. No At least job. For fuck's sake, cash. telling me you're recording right now. Oh, I've been recording. Thank goodness. <laughs> and I went to the bar at 7:30 a.m. Were they open until eight? St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> they didn't open till eight. But I went to my bar. This motherfucker's standing outside. <laughs> He's outside. And He's He's hey, black. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> it's Black Friday for fucking white guys. <laughs> the the guy's the- opening the door, going, "Here, Corey, take the garbage out, and I'll give you a beer." <laughs> I went to my bar, so, so I walked the over. Out. <laughs> so I wandered over to the window, and I knocked on the door. On the window, and I looked at the barmaid, and I smiled real cheesy. And went, I let me in, <laughs> and I went, shh, finger over the mouth, shush, drink. <laughs> you know the international symbol for drink. I'm thirsty. <laughs> yeah. And she came over and locked the door and let me in. <laughs> of course yes. she did, because she couldn't stand to see you out on the fucking front store. She poured me what she knew I already <laughs> wanted, which was a rum and diet. Here you go. My last, uh, my last single, uh, St. Patrick's Day when I was before I before I met Tammy when I was single, I uh, it was my first time at the parade, at, in Rochester, and uh, my my neighbors who were my sponsor alcoholics. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I owe my Everyone drinking needs ability. A sponsor alcoholic. I owe my drinking ability to these people. <laughs> They're terrific, and they just tough uh, training. But he came this, through. <laughs> this is how bad it is. I met him a couple years later, and those people contributed to my alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> They're really good alcoholics. Though. They're, They're really, really good. good at it. They're professionals. They are professionals. <laughs> <laughs> so I went with this uh, this girl Brandy that I knew, and uh, and this dude Rich. Went and uh, and we went downtown, and I brought two flasks, right, two flasks of Jack Daniels in my in my coat, and the parade hadn't started yet, and I opened the second flask. <laughs> wow, man, I'm I, I I need to go with you and sometime. I took, no, I don't do this anymore. <laughs> I did this once ever, but I remembered that it just sticks out so clearly in my mind that the parade hadn't started yet, and I opened the second flask and said. The parade hasn't started yet. <laughs> All right. And I knocked it back. Dude, I hung in there for, I mean, two, you know, this, your size, normal flask size, right. two of them, before the parade started. Nice. Uh, one of them was still going at the parade start. I did see some things going by before. I don't really remember seeing things going <laughs> by anymore. Anyway. But I did hang in there for three bars afterwards. Nice. Fuck yeah. Nice. We got picked up by our buddy Rich came and picked us up. He wasn't there. He came and picked us up. Oh my god. Bought us brought us back to the place uh you know my neighbor's house. I got home, opened my door. I was completely cognizant the whole time like fully aware. Rich said later that he had no idea that I had anything to do. He thought I was stone sober. I opened my door. <laughs> I fell down on the floor. <laughs> and I crawled to the couch. <laughs> and when I woke up on the floor next to the couch, it was dark outside. And I jumped up. And I was scared that I had missed St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> so I ran over to my neighbors and I knocked on the door. And, uh, and you know, they let me in. And everybody's fallen out, man. Everybody's a mess. They're hurt. They're, they're drunk. drunk as fuck. Everybody's <laughs> drunk. And they're... Hey, Stace, man. It's good to see you. I'm on Pretty sure here. there's a rape happening in the corner. <laughs> and, <laughs> and and Brandy is like, Nah, I'm good to go. Let's go. I'm glad you're back, buddy. And Puke and rally! <laughs> Puke and rally! It was like... It was 10 p.m. by the time I got over there, and I was just so scared that I missed St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> But then we hung out until like three o'clock in the morning, just getting drunk and playing stupid shit card games. Two of the drunkest times in my life were with him. Oh, of course. <laughs> There's the party when I was a kid. And I was trying to tell you, and we ran out of beer. And we played beer pong with Jack Daniels, and I was 17. Short, long story short, I dunked my head in the pool to sober up, but the pool hadn't been open for the fucking summer yet, <laughs> and it was filled with algae. <laughs> 
gross. <laughs> did I mention that, I, a, did I, mention that I was fat? Shit. So when I dunked my head into the pool, I went acid with G Kettle <laughs> all the way into the pool yeah. to the point where I splashed three pretty go- girls who were standing next to the pool with watching me be drunk <laughs> with swamp water. With swamp water. <laughs> nice. nice. I, ro- I woke up. How to pick up girls and influence friends by Corey I woke Payne. Up Twelve hours later, <laughs> cold, wet, with my pants half down in the garage, smelling like algae. <laughs> Excellent work. It's how most of your teeth stand up, isn't it? The other two times that come to mind were his bachelor party. How did that go? Where I was really <laughs> still waiting for the I room. was broke, right? And I was like, I don't want to go to the party because I'm the fucking results broke. Are still. <laughs> and we had just started being friends. And I was like, I don't want to go to this party because I'm fucking broke. And fucking be a curmudgeon. I can't have no booze. I don't have no money. I did not get drunk at my bachelor party, though. How do you know? I know. <laughs> Nobody stays sober in my presence. Until. <laughs> until. I have to hang out with you more often. <laughs> until those neighbors that you mentioned. Ah, uh, yes. Found out that I had no money because I had children. And they said, well, you're now drunk. They waved a magic wand of booze <laughs> in front of my face. And I was. And by you the time slurped I it right my up. ride. I had to figure out how to use an Android of a guy who was so drunk he didn't know he had an Android. <laughs> and that's the guy sitting over there. The Stace. <laughs> how the fuck do I use this thing? I recall that I don't recall the end of my bachelor party. <laughs> yeah, but that's the that second must have one it was with a good him, bachelor I'm party. Pretty sure. I know I got hit by married. my own belt. And the stripper that hit me with my own belt. Oh my god, was that brutal? <laughs> she oh bent, my really? god, was that brutal? She bent down and was like, "Are you okay?" I didn't mean <laughs> to hit you that hard. Listen, I was like, "Whatever." <laughs> the first stop, right, is the classy cat, which is with the first stop. Yeah. That's what the we're first stop is. Henry out of this, right? We're, we're pouring back fucking drinks, and his fucking you know ex brother from another mother, whatever, fucking. Tells the strippers, you know, here's fucking 50 bucks. Not my ex-brother. That's not accurate. Jimmy. Whatever. My best man was throwing money at the strippers instead of fucking pull them on stage. So they did the bachelor fucking dance and they Mm -hmm. shook their ass on Mm -hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! Your wife might listen to this. Oh, she knows the story. <laughs> Are you right, kidding me? Do you think I would like not tell a good story? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> so they get him down. She's already TV married to him. It's too late. Fucking, <laughs> it's all part of this song and dance. They get him down on his knees and spank him. They took my shirt off, man. They take his shirt off, and his hairy Irish ass is hanging out, right? I was in better shape than I am now, but not good shape. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, dude, I'm like, I gotta go with it. You know, what am hey, I going to do? man, you're getting what married. Are you gonna do? What are you going to do? Exactly. You're getting married. Gonna you're off the market, I'm going to be the guy with his shirt on on the stage? Exactly. No. <laughs> no, no. You're already off the market, man. Let that, let every other woman see what they're missing. Yeah, she, they pull his you. <laughs> man-like belt off. I mean, it's an inch and a half, two inch leather belt like a man should fucking wear. Fold that bitch in half like your daddy was mad at you. And let this motherfucker have it. Really? Nice. The, the first like crack. He owed that Do you still money. have her number? <laughs> <laughs> the first crack, she was like, she hit me and I was like, Kunta Kinte. <laughs> <laughs> and that bitch was like, Toby, motherfucker! <laughs> and then she hit me again and it made a really loud noise. Like, I, I remember that it made a really loud and cracking noise. And the whole audience like, gasps. <laughs> I've never seen such a dramatic gasp out of a strip oh club. God. Like, it was literally like the record scratched and everybody was like, <gasps> oh. exactly what happened. But oh, man. it only just made a loud noise. Like it didn't. <laughs> he you, was wearing denim. You know how you and no, many she hit times my over, back. She hit my back, denim but I have, saved your life. I have a, <laughs> she hit my skin, but my skin is covered by a fine layer of down <laughs> and alcohol. And <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> so it made a really loud noise, and she really, like, literally, she bent down to my ear and was like, "I'm so sorry." <laughs> In the Irish, it's called the alcohol blood barrier. And I was like, 
Oh, go oh. again. Go again. <laughs> no, I wasn't listening. <laughs> yeah, dude. He, she cracked him, and then noise erupted. Everyone went, oh, and he heard him go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is not One more true. time. One more time. <laughs> Hold on. That is completely not true. <laughs> If you're going to tell this story, you better tell what happened. <laughs> no one believes anything we say And then I got now. another shot of whiskey off of some poor <laughs> sap who was buying me drinks. Because I've heard That's it. That's how the story happened. I've heard it from other spectators that they thought it was cool how fucking nonchalant I was about it. That I was like, whatever, it's your show. In all honesty, without joking, you did not overreact to the sound <laughs> of you getting your ass whooped <laughs> by a stripper with mediocre tits. <laughs> I don't well, even that in there why your tits. <laughs> I, I did and I still do. <laughs> I was just part of the show, man. I'm not gonna be like, oh, that, why'd you hit me so fucking hard? Who's gonna be listen, I'm six foot one, two hundred and 70 pounds most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to hit me and have me be like, oh! It's just not, I'm not going to allow that to happen. Even You're it, not going to. Now, a stripper, never going to hit me and have me go, oh! Even if it turns her on. <laughs> <laughs> Even more so. <laughs> and then we go, we leave Henrietta. I got a stage in front of all my buddies. I'm going to go, oh! go to several other bars and then wind up back in Henrietta at the other shitty strip club in Henrietta. <laughs> oh, my God. That one was shitty. How oh about there God. was another bachelor party going on there? And when they called up the groom to be, I went up, but it was this. Yeah. It was on that dude's party it was the time. Wrong one. <laughs> it was. <laughs> but they put me up there anyway. <laughs> That's classic. <laughs> Yeah. Woo! yeah, yeah I yeah. love black strippers. <laughs> Listen, I, it's all pink on the inside. <laughs> I had run the gamut by that point. What was I gonna do? <laughs> Get another white dance girl? with black strippers? What the fuck? I was like, yo, some ass on that shit. <laughs> Honestly, worst stripper ever. Worst stripper <laughs> ever. <laughs> The fact that I remember that it was a black stripper is amazing. <laughs> I was so trashed by that point. Too. Everybody makes fun of me about that one. <laughs> Everybody, and I don't have anything to say because honestly, all I can say is I had already run the gamut of all the other NS uh, uh, is, Oh, that Asian stripper was hot. Was there an Asian stripper at the Tally Ho? The was her name Tiffany too? <laughs> Just like the mustache. <laughs> Oh yeah. I don't recall. Power the name. mustache, baby. <laughs> yeah, no, at the um at the barrel there was nothing but like, you know, bullet wounds and incision <laughs> marks. <laughs> we all know the barrel. <laughs> but and, and the cat was just all white girls. Straight all white girls. But when we got to Rick's Telly Ho, they had the black girls, the Puerto Rican girls, and the Asian girls. Hey, last time yeah, I that bar sucked that night. <laughs> <laughs> that that night that bar sucked. <laughs> that bar sucked because there was already like a really happening bachelor party happening. No, and then wait. another really happening bachelor party happened. Are you talking about Tally Ho's? Yes. I'm sorry, I was talking about the half dollar. That's the same thing. Yeah. It What's is. the one? Uh, the one on Goodman. Goodman. We went to. We went from the cat the to barrel. the barrel. The Thank you. On Anderson. The oh, barrel. Good. That yeah. yeah. The barrel. the barrel. We went there also, and that the place sucks. The barrel sucks now, by the way, just so everyone knows. I would knows. like the barrel most of the time sucks. New Quick. owners, sucks. Quick editorial <laughs> note. Whoa, easy with the mic wrestling over there. This is this is why you're going to your idea. You're going to trademark three heat in the car. I, I backed it up. I'm going to make you an fucking logo for three heat in the heat lo uh, font Colors with a number three that you're going to fucking trademark and then you're going to put them on t-shirts and we are going to sell them that's our plan I now have a little bit more access to ROC podcast than I did before it's 
straight up as of Saturday. I'm now ROC and I know, secondhand. And I know somebody who does uh, so screening for t-shirts for a living. Boom. Getting a hold of them is going to be a little hard. I haven't seen them in a while, but I'll find out. Oh, what kind of drugs does he like? <laughs> Everybody likes drugs. Is it is it (laughs) adrenaline or booze or cocaine? Psychedelics. Everybody likes drugs. Thank you. I will tell you why this idea has politically lost me. Everybody likes drugs. No, really, sir. No, it was before that. He's like, no, 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 I understand drugs, way yes. Way God, way, drugs. It, was, yeah. it, was, it was a long time ago. In fact, he came back with drugs. <laughs> yes. until, <laughs> until you started talking about sensible ways to sell this idea, I was not on board, and I, I'm still currently, I'm not, terif- I'm not on board, but I'm not off board enough to say no by any, like, I'm completely not in the position to say no. But, He's got a logo, we got a logo. Hey, man, pretty words sell shirts. They do. You're right. I recently quit sports on principles that had to do with money. Okay, but and what I'm about... I'm going to stand by that. Can I ask you a question? Do your principles extend to making money? Yeah, it gets, <laughs> it gets difficult. All of a sudden. <laughs> Life is not black and white. <laughs> Thank you. I wish it was. Look it. I've mm. I've said before, and I'll say it again. And I I try not mm. to ascribe to this as a as a way of being. But you cannot fault somebody for taking advantage of a system that's in place. Do you know how good that three heat in the red and yellow, with the A of the heat, with a little upside down airplane? This is a terrific. Oh, look. that's that's very nice. Yeah. I like that yeah. better. I'm more on board with that because that is a unique branding. To just take a word mm. and say only I can have this because of some legal loophole. You're that, fired. That I don't like. You don't like it, but if you're on the good side of it. No, I still wouldn't like you it. You still don't like it. No, I still wouldn't like it. Would I enjoy the benefits I of Air Rec Radio? I would think, I would, me personally, I would be, finally, I'm Whatever. on the good side of it. Whatever. <laughs> um, I'm a, I'm a fortunate person. i I know this. But here's the problem. Perfect example is I'm I'm not on the bad side of it most of the time. Donald Trump tried to copyright the term you're fired because of the apprentice. Mm-hmm. Because of the way he says it. Do you know who came to the defense of you cannot copyright that term? Larry Flynn. Wrong. Damn it. Good it was a good guess, guess though. though, right? Right. Vince McMahon. What? You're Fire! Vince McMahon. Vince Mc- baby. Oh, nice, good, Vince awesome. McMahon, baby. I like that as good as Larry Flint. It can't be cap. Your fire cannot be copyrighted. No, it can't. And you can't just like you can't like own mm. three heat so that nobody else can use it. I don't. I don't However, like that. if he took the just words, because you can doesn't mean you should. However, if he took the words and created an individual font into an individual visual meaning and then was the first one to do that provably if it was if it caught on if that was the one that caught on and other people tried to copy it i'd be like no you can't copy that but you had to be provably be the first for that caught on theory to sure. work in court right yeah so how do you be provably be the first copyright, copyright that bitch trademark it because we're talking about taking a phrase that we can't copyright, you make a physical logo out of it, right. and then you just have to hope to be the lucky one yeah. whose whose logo wins. No, yeah, is that well, logo necessarily going to take? No. Is that logo going to take necessarily? We don't know. You don't I, know. Well, they win three in a row. We don't know. I'm not saying this is a bad idea. And if you print up a bunch of shirts. And they don't win. You donate them to like um, the World Project Fund, whatever the fuck that thing you is. You sell them to Africa for three cents a shirt, and you get a great tax rebate. It's yeah, amazing. it's all tax. Right then I'll work to use against the cigarette store or the cigar store. So, so, huh? Long and the short, I don't think it's a bad idea at all. Will I put any effort towards it? 
It's no. too much of a gamble for me. What if I threw But you... I would reap the benefits. What if I <laughs> what if I threw you like, hey, look at this thing that I made. What do you think of it graphically? Oh, if that was the situation, and I would gladly take rights, it. I'd be like, could right? you send that to me as a Photoshop document, and yeah, I will yeah, change like, the font into a... Look at a, this graphic thing that I made. What are your suggestions? Yeah, that's different. I, I, oh, that's an entirely different situation. Hmm. If you asked me to contribute artistically, I would be like, whatever, do what you want with it. I don't care. It's a different... That's a, Well, that's a horse of a different color. You have to learn how to sell things to me. When it comes to marketing, I don't give a fuck. I think I just figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if I had an artistic question? Well, what if you, you wanted something advice. designed? I'm, I'm, I'm well, that's seeing, different. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the new head of marketing. <laughs> I'm having a lot of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> and her name is Nancy. You, uh, you know Nancy, too. <laughs> yeah. And she's the head of marketing. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. <laughs> What? Um, we're off it. We're <laughs> off the rails. Um, that thing. You remember that thing I was working on? That blog that I was working on? Yes, I would like to read it. I that I told you I'd send you, and I totally didn't. Or I didn't check my email. That could no, be I totally didn't okay. because I was like, I don't know that I want to send it to him. Was it that bad? I think it's pretty good. All right, but here's then the I was like, but then it was up for peer review, and I was like, well, is it good enough for peer review? Uh, here's the deal. Anything you write is good enough for peer review. I handed you uh, six haikus out of a 17 haiku thing. That and I, I wish I had had some, come, uh, some information for you, but I, I liked no, them no, but, as they but, were. Shut up for a minute. I handed them to you in their very roughest. I thought of them all on my drive back from the bar to work. That's like a three-minute drive. Oh, you're good. I can barely put a haiku together. In my I, you could if you tried. Listen, they're so easy. You know what? I just, As he just said, I just learned. It's so easy. You right? have this symptom, have to, too. Just do it. I'm not creative. I can't do that. Yes, you can. You sure can. can. You, you want to own a base, dude? It's so easy. Just to be creative, dude. Just take a minute and write something. That's ever, all it takes. Ever get stoned and then Isn't like lose a, 15 a minutes a of your time? For a haiku? Oh, sure. A haiku, yes. Everything has a format, but you don't have to write a haiku. Bill. You don't have to write a limerick. Let's you pause him right now. You don't have to write a song. You can write, you can write a sentence. Can write I, a sentence a day. Can I pause him right now? You can. Yeah. I learned how to learn a, to write a limerick today. So easy. In twenty five minutes, I came up with the I came up with the line that we would be fine if we'd get off the line for air wreck. And I said that sounds like the middle part of a limerick. And once was a man from Nantucket, the cocks along his sucker. He said it with a grin as he wiped off his chin. But zero was a cunning fuck it. <laughs> you don't know the man from Nantucket. I'm going to say it again then. She knows it. <laughs> there once was a man. You came up with a limerick for, for girl, girl news? news? All right. There was a theme this episode. We did poetry. <laughs> I can work it in still. I can work it in still. I know you can. Listen, he can stretch out the music. Say it. Get out there. They're recording. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a second of silence so that you can find it. Get on You had a limerick? Get on a mic. I had a limerick. Do you still haiku. have it? Yeah. You had a limerick and a haiku? No, this girl's been have... working hard, god damn it. No, Give her a plate. No, I no, no, no. <laughs> Fuck girl news. This is a much better contrast. <laughs> this is, poetry this is corner. part of, we have a little poetry corner in this show. I am aware, but I don't It's a little bit. All right, let her go. We'll do both. Do it. Get on a mic. Roll, we won't even. We won't even. We won't even leave a silence. I should have her own track. Yeah. Here, hey, you, Vamanos. Okay. Yeah. Do you got the seat there? Right here. Okay. I don't know how you feel about this since we're drinking. He finished his It's been fun no, making a podcast with just the two of us and the conversation. We need some more shit. Honest with you. What are we talking about? Girl news. Yeah. Poetry corner. Yeah. Third chair. 
We yeah. need some more shit. It's gonna. This is all going to break down into more than one week's podcast. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's what I'm, all I'm saying. I'm like, we're going to have to do the news tomorrow or something. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Because this is too much fun. I agree. Can I ask a stupid question? No. Oh, you know what we should do? There are no stupid questions. What Only is stupid that? stupid for you. That what? That, that, that wooden thing over there. It's a pedemic. It's the smallest credenza I've ever seen. Most credenzas are big. That's a hutch. You're thinking of a hutch. A credenza is a small end table light yeah, thing. I, I, I put together credenzas at Kodak for five years. Believe me, they're big. Okay, that's, no, that's a, that's a <laughs> social misconception. A credenza is an end table, but the difference was that they had a door that relieved a, so, a lower area as opposed to an end table that just had an open. Are you area thinking of with bullshit no drawer. because I answered that so com- confidently, or was I correct? You're correct. I was correct. <laughs> <laughs> a current, uh, an end and, table. And what they told me at Kodak for 10 years <laughs> Listen, I was wrong. wrong. No, 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 it's, it's not wrong. It's table. not wrong. <laughs> it's like a secularly correct thing. Okay. Because it's used commonly, it is correct. A credenza to me is like a dining room dress. Yes. That's Thank you. exactly Thank you. what That's it what is. Think of Thank you. This is a small credenza. I saw the, the knob. Is that a knob yeah. in the drawer? Yeah. And I'm wondering, what the fuck is that? It's an what, the mista- what the mistake is is that an end table is not does not have a drawer. No, it's just a shelf. An end table does not have a thing. It's just a table right. that is small that goes on the end oh, of a furniture. Couch. I'm so gay that I know this. Hey. Can I tell you, this fits in... Wow, my a homo! This fits in... No, it's actually very pertinent knowledge if you're going to open a men's boutique. There you go. <laughs> wow. Shit, I didn't bother. On the anyway. Christmas episode... You know what? Fuck this idea. I'm going to open a lot of... Now he's all homophobic. <laughs> Listen, Corey. I was so proud of myself. On the Christmas episode, I had referred to... When we were joking about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer names that he could have been instead, I had said... Rudolph the Rhinoplasty Reindeer. <laughs> <Very good. laughs> and it just came out of my mouth, but I realized as soon as the word was out of my mouth, I had no idea what that word meant. No shop. I didn't know it. I found out two weeks later, listening to another podcast that was about nose jobs. <laughs> and they said was the it word. science on top? No, I think it was uh, cracked. Stuff you should, it might have been stuff you should know. I don't know. Whatever oh, I was, just picked them up this week. Whatever it was, they called. They told me that a nose job with rhinoplasty. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> That's I how said that about work. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, and I just said it because it was like uh, <coughs> on a monopena <coughs> with the uh, R R R. Um, that's alliteration. Alliteration. I it was a, it was an alliteration. Alliteration. Rudolph the Rhinoplasty Reindeer. Yes. That's why I said it. No, if he's no shop, rhino, plasty, yeah, horn. Yeah, perfect. I didn't, I didn't get my own joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Good for you, because I got it. I and you it. told it. That was great. I've been meaning to tell you that for two weeks. <laughs> um, I had to sit no here. idea. Okay. I'm going to stop. <laughs> oh, my God. We're on to the cereal now. <laughs> <laughs> This is that nobody can hear. <laughs> this is the shit you hope nobody finds when you die. <laughs> you mean run for politics? Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's mine. All lighters are mine. I own them all. <laughs> Except that one. That one's a bastard. Get it out of here. Don't be with my dog. <laughs> um. <laughs> Scientific studies are showing evidence that a science fiction fantasy. Scientific studies. <laughs> may be truer than expected from a recent. Just throw your hands in the air and quote it like you just don't know. Everybody <laughs> like this. Like rumor, rumor, rumor. <laughs> I'm smart <laughs> because I'm <Do> what? loud. <laughs> we <laughs> therefore, we are. Mm. Oh, Corey, mm. this is a great way to not make an Eric Radio episode. <laughs> 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 
Rail or Probably not. Rail. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's happening. Some of it. Some of what has happened has been recorded. Some of what has happened has been recorded. And guess who's going to get to find out what's true? <laughs> Anybody who listens to what I make out of this. Are we still on live? Yes. Oh, we've been on live. Angela's still there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Angela. Hey, hey, Angela. Are you still there? You Angela. I need to bookmark Eric Radio so I don't need to use fingers. <laughs> Ange, I love you, Ange. The fuck happened? <laughs> what happened to my podcast? You put them together and it formed chaos. And that is exactly what I was hoping for. Are you on the Airac Radio live site? No. Angela! You're still there! <laughs> you Angela! She's still Thank there! Thank you for listening, Angela! <laughs> I just like to point out to the uh, uh, to the listener, um, Buck Point Bacardi Bill, the digital pirate. That um, uh, there's at least a 15 second delay, so she'll be getting this 15 seconds in the fucking right pass now. <laughs> Time warp, baby. Let's do the time warp again. What the fuck were you guys talking about? What do you mean? On uh, a podcast? On no, the Death of Sports Rec show. You were talking, which about is a that. podcast episode one. And what you two something? vehemently disagreed with each other. Like, um, he you talked came about upset, and it was very reassuring for me to like understand that it wasn't just me that had to deal with that bullshit. Was it? <laughs> but it also became, was it entitlement of our generation? Was uh, it? Or was, was that ass hats? No, that was ass hats. It had to do with space. It was oh. something about space, life, maybe. Space. You're talking about the the death of Air Rack. The death of Air Rack episode. The only I know the death of sports rec. Air well, rec the death alive. of sports rec. <laughs> yeah, Air, Air, I hope Air so. Rec is the flagship of the Air Rec Radio Network. Yeah, sports rec is demised, but uh, yeah, I don't remember. I know we were off on space in that in that conversation too for a while. Off. There's no way we got in an argument because he said some things that I got mad at him, you got and mad that was the end of the argument. Right. <laughs> Like when it comes to like anything well, else, when it comes case, to space, fuck you. Ed cannot argue. With and you. what it was was that, and hang in there for just a second, okay? Math, the existing math, of that yes, was, yes, I remember it all. Clear right. observation, man made it up. Okay. <laughs> makes math. Okay, other big gentlemen in the room, and you, um. If we could just sorry, hang sorry. in there for a second, because I listened to this debate, and, and I broke it down. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. <laughs> we have to wait for him to get fucked back here, though. Put your ass to crack away. Jesus. <laughs> Shit's ridiculous. I'm yeah. glad to see you started I wearing underwear, that though. I don't Perhaps have any you should wear another pair. Those are long jobs. Moving on. I hate seeing that when I don't have a pencil to put there. I hate seeing that any time. <laughs> Uh, All right. We had a debate, mother. But you said math Listen. is a human creation, which is true. Right. And I said, why? <laughs> past human creation, anything else that was intelligent enough to make the observation would have a similar mathematic structure up until the point where it differed wildly. And I don't know. I'd like to pick up this conversation from here as an unpartial third party observer. I don't know if you were trolling him. Or not. But it worked. <laughs> man, I can manage. That conversation, Which is the best kind of trolling. Man. If if the listener doesn't know if you're trolling, I can that's play. quality trolling. I can play so stupid. <laughs> quality trolling. Man, that makes me Now, mad. I would like to give a piece of advice to a podcaster. Okay. Troll just enough. To irritate, but not enough to stop the show. 
gotcha. that is a hard gotcha. line to draw. Yes, yes, I, I got to that line. <laughs> and I have failed to draw that line several times. As, yes. As my fellow podcaster. But this we both head. learned where that line is. You got to know when the conversation is going to hit a standstill before it does. I'm still learning. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a, and it really is amazing. From episode one through episode 18 of Air Wreck, neither one of us could figure out why the other one was our friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I knew why you were. I, I know. I I just it was for the. Joke. I know. I know it was a joke, but we only tell the joke, and I'd like to tell the truth. You challenged me to uh, define why I define things the way I do. No, oh, that's absolutely true. I'm commonly challenged by you when and you're being a any, fucking asshat any, to really explain <laughs> why if, up is up. If any person on this planet that I care whose explanation is up is up, it's you. That's why I do it. You see that? That's fucking why I hate that potato head. I know. He's such an asshole, isn't he? He is. Every once in a while, he comes out oh, with a little gem, and you're like, what the fuck are you talking about, you asshole? He was like, so I carry a pocket knife, and that means my intent is to kill? I still want to <laughs> strangle him over that. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> However, I have been told that though it is legal, a spring... Loaded action is considered aggressive intent by the police officers. Well, yeah, if you did that in front of a cop, you're <laughs> fucking right it is. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the rules don't change a little bit for cops. <laughs> a little? If the cops are talking to you and you flip out a knife, <laughs> I, I, I understand if you end up dead at the end of the day. loaded action. <laughs> But it's a good spring-loaded action, so it moves an awful lot like Switchblade. <laughs> I got to tell you, my knife is is not that. It's gear action. It's yeah, you flip it out. If mine I is spring-loaded, if it flips I did, out on if, its own. If, if, let's say you're a cop and you're saying, "Where were you tonight?" And I said, "What's it to you?" <laughs> I would understand if I wound up shot in the face that <laughs> night. Now how about this one? Where were you tonight? <laughs> do you know? Do you know that if a cop approaches you and says, "Hey, come here, I want to talk to you," you can refuse? Yes, I do know that. Okay. I'm oh, you know what? We should do like a separate. I am, I am a civil libertarian. Hmm. I'm all about this fucking coming up with new shit. The PSA that we said earlier. Another one, man. I'm a registered Republican, and when I registered Republican, I'm a, I'm a fiscal conservative. I'm registered conservative. This is amazing. To I want to vote in primaries. This is amazing to me. Ready? I consider myself a fiscal conservative and a social liberal. Me too. So does he. He's a Republican, and I'm a libertarian. I I'm refuse a conservative. to register libertarian. Conservative, and you know what the funny thing is? Is he is what we're both supposed to be. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the Republicans and the Libertarians were both started there with conservative. <laughs> I'm not one thing, and neither is any other person. No, I agree with yeah. you. Okay, I'll go with that. Nobody's one thing. We're a conglomerate of many things. I'm a musician. I'm a podcaster. I'm a detailer. Mm. I am a father. I'm a husband. I'm a brother. Over and over again in many different ways. I'm many things. I'm registered Republican, but it's not because I believe in everything the Republican Party no, touts no, out there. I, uh, I, there's listen, not many of us. I'm registered independent. You know why? Because there's not a snowball chance in hell you'll ever see the word libertarian as a party. I believe. <laughs> I believe in the teachings of Christ. I'm not a Christian. No, I'm not. I, I, I. You know what? I love the way you put that. Because the fucking you're not a Christian teachings. or you're not a Catholic. No, no, he's not a Christian. No, I would be a Catholic. Uh, I was raised Lutheran. I like Catholicism because it offers what the old gods offered, and that was like Catholicism offers a saint for every need. You know, what whatever your badness is, you can plead to a saint, and a saint will hear your prayers and help you with them. And I, I don't know if I. I don't know if I believe in that, but in my life, I've seen evidence for that kind of specific prayer. Okay. I think that supports I, more I, your I, Wiccan belief. Than yeah. I I, because I of my Wiccan belief. beliefs, yes. I believe it supports more your Wiccan belief because but prayer Catholics, slash spell 
equals results. Catholics pray to specific saints. saints. They call them saints, but they're really they're deities. Some um, deities. Yeah, they're okay. demigods. Yeah, at the very you. least, yeah. they're demigods. Could prayer slash spells both equal a concentrated spiritual effort towards a game? I think yes. I think prayers oh, slash right. spells I actually, are. That was the I, 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 I wanted to make. That. I think prayers and spells, though, though both spiritual in nature, are not the same. I heard somebody today. Uh, you, prayers and spells are not the same. Yeah, I think I think, I think, I think prayers, prayers are the same. Prayers, prayers are. Um, Prayers are an asking, where spells are uh, attempted a manipulation. Uh, asking is attempting manipulation. I uh, yeah, see, I'm not think, I, taking. Let me let me clarify my point okay, for just a second, wanna, please. Yeah, for sure. To expect a raise is not to ask for a raise. How are you more likely to get the raise you want? By asking. That's manipulation. Praying is manipulation just like magic is what you're doing is you're pleading to your patron deity your god your saint whatever it is please most relevant saint to my plight please help me in my plight you wouldn't pray to the saint of adulterers if your problem was gambling you would pray to the saint of I, gamblers I, I agree with you to Spells, I think, are more of uh, where is uh, I agree with what you say about praying, but but I think spells are more of a hands-on, you're deliberate. You put more effort and more planning into a spell than you do a prayer, and I think that's what makes a prayer better. You are doing the P dance. Oh, talk. bad! Please, I have been part of several Wiccan. Rituals at this point, and that's why you don't have any hair. Um, <laughs> no, it's because of a big ritual. <laughs> that's the great Vickens. <laughs> he has no hair uh, because of the great potato ritual. Uh, as well as I am a born again Christian by all definitions of the word, except that I don't practice Christianity. Yeah, about that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of I, uh, a big definer there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. But you did go through the born again. You really did that. Yeah, I sure did. I was uh, 14 years old. Did they when like I baptize you in again. running water? Oh, really? Um, in a in a in a large bath. They didn't do it in running water. Uh, it was uh no no um, it was a blessed water of I mean it was running water in the fact that the faucet was on. It was a plumbed thing. It was a plumb uh, like thing. a like a hot. It was tub? running water in the grounds that the faucet was on was on it a, and the drain was not plugged. Was it like a hot tub or a drinking fountain? It was a tub of cold fuck water. When you say tub, I remember it being very no a tub. Uh, 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 I, I I don't know. I'd like a size, please. Um, think of. Did you fit in it? Uh oh, I fit in it, but me and the water <laughs> <laughs> did not fit in it. At what age was this? You were a teenager. 14. Okay. So I had to weigh about 280 pounds. Roughly of, your adult height and size, yeah. Uh, no, I was about, uh, I would have been about 5'10 at the point. You, I think you I said 280. I think you meant 180. No. 280 at 5'10. Really? Yeah. Yeah, big motherfucker. Oh, I was huge, dude. I was fucking fat, dude. Oh. I was huge fat, I, dude. I didn't know that about you. Like, ridiculous. I pulled some uh, uh, pictures from high school. I was huge, dude. The little chubby Corey. Yeah. Uh, little piece of cheeks. I, they said the prayer. They took both uh, the senior pastor and his son, the junior pastor, to dunk me into the water and lift me up. And Lord, fucking praise Jesus. I was absorbed in my sins. They lifted you up. Well, yeah. I, they didn't have. <laughs> you I was going to say, how'd they get that fork <laughs> truck in the water? <laughs> <laughs> I, I may or may not have put one or two legs at a ninety degree angle in order to push up the fork truck. <laughs> we lost him into the water. <laughs> you prick! <laughs> Scumbag! I'm sorry. 
piece of <laughs> shit. His verbiage was hilarious, though. <laughs> Fucking pork truck. Anyways, the moral of the story was, I am both a born-again Christian, a, practice, a practicing agnostic, and a former semi-practicing Wiccan. What is agnostic? Um, doesn't believe I, in God. No, no I that's, that's true. Not true. I think, that's I think that agnostic... Oh, that, oh and the agnostic is... I believe in God, but doesn't believe in religion? Bingo. I absolutely believe oh. there's a power in this universe that is greater than we can even possibly understand. Not necessarily God, as people refer to God. I. It is my God. Yeah. I've that been elected right now. The power in this universe that I believe exists that is greater than we can understand is my God. People as used, far as I know, that is the essence of being. People you <sighs> used to ask me in in uh, high school. I, I think I was. You know, people ask you, "What do you believe in? What religion are you?" And I think that by the time I was fourteen, I was answering that question. I believe in electricity. I guess I'm an electrician. Yeah, no, yeah, I believe in electricity. Dude. I believe in that. I believe in energy transfer. I am bingo. I believe baby. In, in bingo. In the, I believe in energy created and destroyed. I believe in just it's cyclical. We stop new, so you can leave or go as you please. It's a bouncing ball, and with enough bounces, it's going to bounce the same twice sooner or later. I, you know, I don't know that I. I'm not from this way. <laughs> oh, and our co-star, <laughs> Falcor. Yes. Forgot. That's Biscuit, Stacy's little puppy, who I love. <laughs> Biscuit. I scared. I, I didn't. I didn't even see him on your lap. Man, I don't know that I buy the bouncing ball thing <laughs> perfectly as it's described. This is actually very topical to something that I would like to discuss. Okay, let's tie that in as soon as I make my... I will. Yes, please. Um, cunt in you. <laughs> I don't know. If I put a cunt in me, that would be fine <laughs> physics. Would that be I gay? Know it. I don't know. No, he's got one. No, like, because you know. it's, <laughs> it's <That's cunch>. creepy. <laughs> you guys would have some same looking kids. All right, there's, <laughs> there's three people in this room. The odds are one people won't know this horribly hacked out, played out joke. I think there's four people and a dog in this room. Yeah, actually. but I know, I'm the one telling the joke. Okay. Oh, so what oh, is the I'm difference? Sorry. What is the difference between a woman? Is that the end of it? No, I, I think you threw the joke up. <laughs> I think you might have. I might have to what? <laughs> what is the difference between a woman? Uh, well, it's her twat, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's between a woman. What is the di- <laughs> <laughs> What is the difference between a pussy and a cunt? Um, I don't know. No. I give. A pussy is a warm, inviting, tender place that you look forward to. A cunt is the thing that carries it. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. That's a mean spirited <laughs> ass joke, Corey. That is not really? friendly advice. <laughs> so you're gonna call on getting laid oh, where were we? <laughs> did you make deep Did shit. you make your point? No, I don't remember what my point was. <laughs> I got May I then? Jokes then? What, where were we? Oh, I was talking about. I was a Christian. I was a Wicca. I practiced in some Wicca. I don't say I'm a Wiccan. I don't want to say I'm a Wiccan. I practiced in some Wiccan rituals. Um, good, good for you. I, I, you should practice Wiccan rituals. I actually advised Jason today to burn some sage. It's a good advice. It's good uh, advice for anybody. Oh, burn sage. I that I if shit ain't going a- for you, burn sage. If that don't work, work iron. And then I explain there's a cos- that I feel there's a cosmic energy that is bigger than us that we don't understand, and that is my God. I've worked iron. Talking to a microphone. I don't understand what you mean by worked iron. I started with burning sage, right? And when that didn't net me the response I wanted, I I worked iron, which means the metals of the land, the heart of the earth. Iron's a little stronger it. than than herbs for for working 
the metal of the earth. And the cost of working that iron was a little... It wasn't what I was expecting, but everything I have today is a result of that. Are you still not quite sure? I, this I is where believe... I was going with this. I think you brought it back around to me. That prayer and spell was are the same thing, I think, is where we started. I did an iron spell. Oh. Um, and iron being the metal of the earth, being right. the hardest element or, that could be found. Yeah. Iron spells take a little more work. Well, they okay. take a lot more work. Thank you for playing it out. I don't know if I did a lot of work. I think they take a lot more energy. Perhaps um, I should have done more work, and I would have got a more immediately recognizable benefit. Uh, no, that's not how spells work. You still got a recognizable benefit. my benefit. You still got a recognizable benefit. Oh, my God. That's not how prayers work. If you pray to God, magic or, it costs. Or you should spend your power to the mono. Or you spend your efforts in positive vibes. Good, good, good. Good vibration. Okay. Uh, you, you can you can hear the good vibration, but I gotta get back to Stacy's here iron work here because okay. I, I I'm not quite sure what he asked for. He got maybe that, not in right, the path, but, but he also kind of alluded he'd to get it that he he also kind of alluded to there was a cost that maybe he wasn't oh. Wasn't ready to Can pay. Can I explain the core of the Wiccan? Do you know my Pudding? cost? I don't know your cost, but I know a core. You of might know my cost. I, I don't know if you do or don't. I, I maybe I do, and I have too many beers to recall exactly what you'd leave you. Here. You might not. I mean, I, I mean, I, I kind of do know this. Story. I don't actually expect that you do know my. cost. I do know this story. I know about what you asked for. And I know what what you got. But you would like to explain the general theory. Just the fact that just. Back to alchemy, because I made a joke earlier in the show about alchemy. Sure. Nothing can be gained without something being lost. Back to the theory of relativity. Again, energy exists as a constant. Energy can be neither created nor destroyed. Thus, anything created, something must be lost. Okay. There's a price to be paid I, for anything gained. And, and, and I understand that concept. I... Kind of interested in hearing his in little spell story work, now. In spell work, you, you expect that the work put into the spell will yield the result that you want. But that's so, not always true. Well, what's not always... No, it is always true. It is always true. The, it balances out somehow or another, or your spell is broken. Um, yeah, or it doesn't work. Or Yeah, or it doesn't work because you didn't put enough work in it at all. Well, I put enough work in to get what I wanted, but I didn't know how to put enough work in to get what I wanted with no negative side effects. I understand. So I put in, I put in a, an amount of work. I, I spent some time. I mean, this is like, dude, kook. can you? This is kook talk. For real, can you be specific? Sure. Tell them it. So I was with my my future wife, my girlfriend at the time, and I was I was pretty happy with the way things were going. And I I was I had uh I had done some some work to like straighten myself out. Here's the thing: like when you work magic, you're not actually like you're not affecting the no just no don't magic it up with stupid pronunciations. We all know what magic is. I always like the magic. I hate it. I, I always it's like so that. it's such a parlor trick to to <laughs> pronounce it differently. <clears throat> because I'm somebody who like really believes that it can work. I I don't believe that it needs to be dressed Power up. Power of positive energy. That's it. Good. Good. So let's good say you don't vibration. like your lot in life, and you've identified what it is about your lot in life that you don't like, and it's not somebody else. It's something in you. For it to be somebody else, you have to be really good at identifying how to assemble the proper magic. But if it's something in you, you only have to have a knowledge that it's that. So for me, it was... I want... I was, I was single. I was good times having. I wanted to not be that. I wanted to be... In a relation, I wanted a girlfriend. I wanted a family. I wanted that, and I and I did a lot of uh, a lot of 
meditation about about like not a, like I didn't devote my life. I didn't spend a half hour a day meditating, but right. like I spent some time meditating about what it would take for me to be that person. Right. You 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 you, you projected what you needed to be to become that. And I've always been really good at recognizing the signs that are right in front of me. And I don't say that I I guess like it might sound like an egotistical thing to say that I've always been good at recognizing the sounds the signs in front of me, but I don't mean it that way. I just mean that like I think that everybody has signs put in front of them and you just miss some. Everybody does. I, I do. All. Everybody you? you need to hit me in the head. Egotistical because it turned back that as I look back on my life, I missed every single one. Every single opening I ever had in my life, I missed it. And you know why? You're too proud to look, my I guess. I wasn't fucking looking. Yeah. I wasn't fucking My guess watching. with you is, is too Or you were looking look. in the wrong place. Too proud to look. Too proud to look and look in the wrong place. Yep. And now I stand here staring at the fucking heavens waiting for the sign that I think I probably missed. Yeah, I've been there. I know that. That's a butt feeling. I've it been is. there. It is a butt feeling. I'm going to throw... I will tell you, if you missed a sign, it. they'll throw you a new one. I'll throw you a real a wrench. A new one will come and... Dude, like... I'm going to throw you a real wrench, Look at Stace. It. No, 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 for real. Like, Stace. Throw, you throw this wrench and I don't want to talk to you. Uno throw momento. No, throw the wrench. My wrench is, okay. I'm now 51 years old. Are you really? Yeah. You don't look a day over 48. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but, but, but my shit. point is that it's my time passed. Have I missed all my good opportunities? I fucking hope no. not. Yeah, I hope not too. But at this point, I'm beginning to wonder. You know what I mean? So I know I've missed signs. It's good I know wonder. I need to be hit in the head. Hey, open your eyes. You look what wait. you're missing. You need to be hit in the head. You need to use the restroom. I don't know. No, you, I'm good there. You and you, you specifically, because it's more pertinent to your question. But you, but all of us specifically, are living in a time where that the age thing and the have we missed it thing don't necessarily correlate to each other. Yeah, man. hang in there another twenty years, you'll live forever. Bingo, dude. Do I want to? That's a good question. I can't That's that. a good question. That's the only question you can answer I want to. Sure I don't know that I, I want, want to live to. forever, but I, I know I that I want more time than a lot of. I don't understand, but I understand. You know what I mean? You like, know what? I can't I possibly but, understand. But, but you see what I'm saying? If I was if I was 20 years younger and you said that to me, I might be like, no, no, yeah, no. I want to live forever. We're doing real talk, right? I Boys, think we are, we're yeah. We're doing real talk, yeah. right? In your situation, losing an offspring, dude, I don't blame you. That shit breaks my heart just thinking about yeah, it, dude. Wow. You know. I don't mean to bring up some tough shit, man. But I got brought up real. earlier, man. That's that's some fucking rough fucking patch right there, man. I so I don't blame you, but me. That's what makes me want to live. I know that I could, I get eighty years, and I can maybe get another twenty. But if that was gone for me, I don't, I don't know if that would be what makes me want to live. Yeah. But exactly, that, if that's that fucking, was gone for me, and now maybe I'd be wishing for a way way closer. That's what I mean. So my that's perspective mean, is a lot that's different. Mean shit. Yeah, yeah, it sure is. It sure is. You know what I mean? I mean, I uh, still have. I to bring it up. I, 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 you know, it's not all doom and gloom. I, I still have hopes for a home and a family. To me, that means me oh. and another woman. You know, a woman, hey, man. Not for you nothing. Know. You happen to be of the good blessings to be a man. You could make another baby, which wouldn't be a replacement, dude. No, fuck but baby, it, dude. It, at fifty-one years old, am I really looking at raising a, a child? Baby. But what he could do, you could be to another if you were family. in the position to. Right, but I, but what or Corey said, or but what, what, what Corey no, said, I, I, you know, I'm not saying I'm opposed. If you know, if I was yeah. to meet someone and she wanted to have my baby, and you know, I mean, I'm not opposed to. Well, you know, I don't but know load inside. It, you know, it's it's, it's hard to be looking for it. But yeah, that's yeah. not. You know, at this point, I'm hoping to find someone to spend the rest of my life with, whatever For that may be. And I guess we're off on it. For real's question, I know you're raised Catholic. Yeah. Straight up, how do you feel about God? God? Catholic God? No, him. 
What's How God? did he think and feel about God? He was raised ca- and strict Catholic. It's not the Catholic uh, Can you, uh, vision. B- you before, and... before you answer that question, I'd like, to, I'd like of... to give a, a pre-question. Huh? What's God to you? What's yeah. God to me? Yes. With a life of strife and work and error... Well, life of I tell you what, pure humanity. This guy is a perfect example. I tell you what, God isn't to me. Life. Let's. I want to hear his. Uh, God what? isn't to me. Isn't going to work every day. Isn't trying to get no, through this rat, rat life. Rage, yeah, dude. right. Exactly. God to me is is love. Plain and simple. You either treat people with love and respect, or you don't. Now, granted, there's a lot of people out there that you. Don't even want to talk to him. <laughs> but and you're when you have to deal with it, <laughs> and, and I understand I'm a fucking grumpy old man, but, you know, I I, I still work with the public. I, I mean, that's my job. And, you know. Your job is a special job. Yeah, but I, I still say, hi, how no, are you? You know, no, I it's agree a special with job. It's a special fucking job. You see You're a cross a section of the public at something they don't share with their coworkers. I agree with him 100%. Your job is more angelic than you think it is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to put it up at a, a, like, from a worker's perspective, dude, your job sucks. Yeah. But from a human perspective, man, there's a part of you us get that's been see pushed people, and punched like, and beaten to death. And you represent How many the dudes in a suit that. do you see in a week? You'd be surprised. Mm-mm. I don't think I would. Is it zero? Because that's the number that would surprise me. If it's not zero, I'm not surprised. Okay, it's not zero. Yeah, I'm not surprised <laughs> at all. <laughs> for real. And we're, we're, we're Eric Radio's very pro gay rights. I assume a podcast is. So sure. you're very pro gay rights, right? Yes. How many dudes walk into your store? I'm actually, wait, hold on. I'm not actually pro gay rights. I'm pro equal treatment human of all being human beings. Fucking rights. Yeah. Amen. How do you walk into your store that would be much happier human beings if they could just be like, "Well, I'm gay. <laughs> Show me where the dicks at. <laughs> Let's get together and suck some cock." Or if they only wanted to suck a dick on a on an occasion, I don't on care. A weekend. It doesn't matter. You know what? Monday through Friday, I like fucking my wife. On Saturday, suck a dick. It's something different. If I found out that but, you suck the dick in your free time, I'd be like, well, that's surprising. But, but whatever. Man, I kind of guessed it. Like, well, how come I didn't know about it? I would be like, dude, that's so last year. <laughs> as a man raised Catholic who peddles smut. Where do you feel about that? Yeah, well, my mother's so fucking now. proud. <laughs> you're not. A, you're not. Are you Catholic still? Like, what do you think you are? I haven't been practicing Catholic since I graduated I didn't ask from practicing. high school. I want to believe my family not practicing, Catholic. man. Human beings don't practice. Yeah. What do you believe? In? What do I believe in? Justin Bieber. I believe. No. One Direction, no. baby. No. All the no. way. No. All no. the no. way. No. Is that They're something so they yell? wrong? So wrong. No, I, just, oh. I believe in a higher power. I believe in a spiritual plane. Um, I don't think when we die, that's it. What we're, if that we're, shit? we're energy. Energy does not dissipate. What it goes that on forever. Was not as higher as you thought it was. What? What if that higher plane wasn't as higher as you thought it was? Like what? I don't think it is, to be honest. What if with it you? was just one step higher? It is. You get rid of this body what and you're is, there. What's the difference between a stone date? Oh, are you saying you hold get on, rid of this on, body on, and you're on, there? Hold on. I want to lay down the foundations for what I think you're talking about. Go off. What you're talking about. What if the difference is a stone is, date? Let's say we found on another planet. Monkeys that were using tools. I like this. To poke honey out of hives without getting stung themselves. I like this. Is that what you're saying? Is like what if what if then we cultivated this we we left a wheel or two around for them to find and, and like left and think about a, contemplate. We left a piece of flint and a piece of steel nearby several campsites to see which ones would be able to figure out fire. That's not exactly what I'm going with it. I'm reading um, 
But I could see. I'm reading a, a book about the growth of society right now. It's called Guns, Germs, and Steel. No, oh, okay. No, that makes sense. It's not exactly where I was going with it. I was going more with the Stone Ape theory. You're thinking more an intelligent life finds a developing intelligent life. No. What if the difference between us and that God we've been searching? Oh, is hallucination a common hallucination? Is literally just. On uh, one step, one frequency difference. I'm telling you, it is between us and them. And shed, then what if shed, they, they have a what if they have a god that's one frequency difference between them? Shed your earthly body, and you're there. Probability theory would demand it. Shed your earthly body, and you're there. You're still energy. You shed your earthly husk. That Will. pile of skin you're sitting in over there across from me, and you're there. You're at the next plane. It's just energy. It's just consciousness. Bill, what if I told you that I am starting to believe, without ever having done hallucinogen? I'm sorry. <laughs> hallucinogen? <laughs> Never. Again, I'm sorry. What if I told you that I was starting to believe... That that God that we've been searching, that we've been just touching, uh, was we could reach. Yeah. Ancient societies have been proven. I, I see. I don't even want to start it because it's fucking You're using a very slow and deliberate way of talking that is making thank it you. difficult to follow exactly what you're I don't down. even want to start it because it's fucking foil hat wearing, fucking hippie loving, fucking acid eating, what we've been taught to be bullshit propaganda bullshit. And Does that mean it is? Do you know where I'm good? If you don't want to start yours, I'd be happy to start mine because I recently had an epiphany. Well, you know what, dude? It um, wasn't Tiffany, was it? Okay. Uh, real quick, my point is is that um, I'm starting to believe that the connection between us and this guy that we've been searching for is not as distant as we fucking think and that there is a way to fucking reach the connection there. And because of that, I'm in our present state, are you listening? I'm going to start experimenting with psychotropic chemicals in order to expand my consciousness. Okay, of Timothy what Leary. That line is. <laughs> Have you? Terrence been? McKenna was really Timothy Leary, <laughs> and Sorry. Timothy Leary was the line that I was listening. Hey. Whoa! Um, I, I, for some reason, I'm having a power failure. Um. But I don't. I don't need this anymore tonight. Apparently, I don't think that we'll you. Something fun with the news. That's fine. I don't think that you've been paying attention to the things that I've been saying over the past several years. Now, maybe I haven't. Maybe I'm just starting to come around. I'm not directly against the idea of using psychotropic things. I'm not saying it's the only way. I am telling you that without the addition of psychotropics, I have achieved reactions through prayer magic. So have I. Spell. Spell. I'm not going to fucking bullshit it. I wish a thing. I put the work in. I did the research. I led the spell. I had a coven to follow me. And the thing that I asked for and that I did the work for fucking came True. It's, All right, it's not. You help me out, will you? It's ya? not <laughs> bullshitting for me to call it prayer magic rather than a spell. Right, I don't like. Fine. I don't like the word spell. I don't like it. It comes with stigmata. It, 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 so it, does, it stigmata, does. It has. That's not how I was taught. Connotations. So, so does magic, but Ma prayer magic is just what prayer is. Yeah. But the word spell does have like negative connotations. At a Catholic connotations. church, they wave this thing of smoke around, right? This, this little, yeah. Yeah. They do you know that. what's in the Buddhists? No. Opium. Herb? Any mixture of opium. The two things just suggested. <laughs> right. Um Buddhists are big for 
connecting with God. I Go am, on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go on. I am very big for when you're performing magic, prayer magic. I've always been pure doing it. And by pure, I mean a day's fast. I mean no alcohol. No, no food, no, no water, alcohol, no, no herb. No, no smoking, no nothing. Just okay. water and uh, fruit. I, I would take fruit. Um, apples by choice. Uh, pineapples are fine. Uh, oranges are also pretty good. Fruit. Not not necessarily apples by choice. And I don't know if you've ever learned any of that teaching. But I'm um, always seeking knowledge. There is a certain facet that believes that regionality is important. That you come from the earth that you come from. And if your area grows apples... And apples is a more sure you take in you. apples. If your area grows corn, you take in corn. corn it's yeah. a more secret of a veg of a plant to you. I've had good luck with apples. Guess what we do? We grow apples. But I've always the been area. I've always been pure. Um, and that's not to say that I've like always been pure. Listen, I've smoked some weed in my time, but oh, I thought we were like being some real shit. I'm a yeah. No, 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 some real fucking shit. I, you can do whatever you fucking want. We're on some real shit. Whenever I do, I, I don't smoke weed and do that. It's not how it works for me. For me. That's for me. That's not for you. That's not for you. That's for me. I don't no, know. I, 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 I have no experience in any of this, so I'm really, be- really, really fucking... Curious and interested in this because, in my personal experience, believe me, my my life could use all the help I could get right now. In my personal experience, if you're going to expand a spiritual situation, it's not by weed. No, it takes the edge off. It, the, weed is for relaxation. Weed is for a tool. Weed is, I mean, weed is weed is a maintenance thing. It was fucking, it, dude. There's a reason why it's called weed. Do you know why it's called weed? Why? Because it'll grow in spite of you. <laughs> you can't kill that shit. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> grow in spite of you. That shit was given to you by the earth as a fucking anti-goddamn stress, anti-depressant, anti-everything. That is your quick-acting answer to fucking life sucks. Here. This will help you cope. That is not your answer. This will help you cope. That is not your answer to spirituality. No, this will just help you cope with the bullshit. But I don't believe that this thing that we live in is the answer to spirituality I told either. You, man. Get rid of the husk you live in, and you're there. That's why I said it, dude. That's why I wanted to bring you back on the second show because I don't like talking about the drugs. Because, man, in popular culture, you sound like the Tin Hat guy. You sound like Terrence McKenna. <laughs> Living in his island in Hawaii, telling you to take ayahuasca. Yeah, I hear you. I you know what I'm you. saying? No, I hear you. Connect, to, to connect with the mother god. I get you. I get you. And, and you know what? I don't believe. I don't what believe do you, that. I don't believe that the psychedelics. Do you believe in energy? I believe in the energy. I don't do believe, believe the psychedelics energy? is your is your doorway. I don't believe I that. I really do. I don't. I've done enough natural ones. I, I I've only you, done. I mean, but I don't know that you've done enough on the right path. Maybe, maybe not. But I you will. Were, maybe what you were looking for when you were doing your drugs was getting high. And trust me, dude, you know me. You of all people know me about getting high. Yeah, I'm all about. Didn't I? Get into that next level. Here's the thing about magic. But maybe while you were... Can we just real quick and then back? Maybe while you were tra- chasing new those hallucinogenic drugs, chasing that high, you weren't looking for the right thing because maybe you were looking for it to get high. You weren't looking for God, man. You got to be able to know yourself. You cannot work magic. You cannot do it if you can't know you. You have to know you. You have to know exactly you. you and I'm not you saying... You have to know that or you're going to get side effects and they're going to be ugly. And dog, I know me and my side effects 
fucking sucked. Okay, I'm I got to stop you. I got to stop. Oh, wait a minute. I'm okay. sorry. Fuck yeah. Okay, Fuck yeah. I, I'm gonna, I'm going to tell you guys this little little thing, okay? When I was married many years ago, I worked uh, second shift. I used to get home about 12:30 at night. That's a good name for a podcast. Second shift. Second shift. 12:30 at night. <laughs> um, mm. Write them down. Are you taking notes? Because I know they aren't. And the next <laughs> podcast. No. Yes, I am, baby. <laughs> A new anyway, podcast. anyway, when I was married, um, my marriage wasn't very good. I was, I was very unhappy. I w- wasn't happy with my wife at all, and um, I used to get home. How twelve. Long were you married? I was married ten years. I was unhappy five of them. Um, but I used to get home at night, twelve thirty at night, and I get out of my truck and stand in the driveway. And I lived out in Virgin at the time, so. There was plenty of stars to look at, and if you looked up, and I used to look up every night, and every night I used to pray that I could get out of my marriage. Wait, wait, wait! Now wait a minute. So you used to do no, no, no. So you used to close your eyes, and you used to use your most mighty organ that you understand, your brain. Hold on. And you'd focus on a single thought. This is his story. Let him tell it. Let me get out of this marriage. I just want to make sure that I'm clear on the details. Now, I didn't want any bad to fall on anybody involved. That's the best thing. Okay. There was no... There was uh, there was yeah. there was no harmful intent wished upon any member of this. I hope she finds Lord, something better. Okay, you know, Lord, let it me was be just, free. It, it, that's basically what it was. It's just this is not working. I need out. Can I? Can I? Can, can okay. I, can I interject? Sure. When you're um, when you want to be free from the person you're with. You have to be selfless in that, or your kickback is going to be terrible. You have to say and mean, Lord, let them find something better than me for them. Well, and that takes a sense of humbleness that, that like, you're not the center of the... And it's hard for people. It, it it's hard for me. It's hard for people. It didn't go that far. It's a point. See, at that this time, is where you're more positive okay, than Okay, at that time... The thought didn't go any further than how can I not be where I am without anyone suffering. That was as far as that thought went. And that was the nightly prayer. And this is where I am a okay. piece of shit. Now, um, eventually it came to pass through no actions of my own that the marriage did come to an end. Okay. Uh, when that happened, how long ago was that, if I may? Uh, uh, a decade? 17, 18 years ago. Oh, several, almost two decades. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, if, if, if I ask you a question that's too personal. You no, it's just that I'm old and I can't okay. remember. Um, uh, but, you know, when that came to pass, when the marriage ended, um, I did everything in my power that I thought at the time was to make it easier on her and my child. Okay? That's something a lot of men in, in that situation do. Consequently, I fucked myself. You sacrificed yourself. Yeah. And you hold yourself up to the altar, and you get burned. And I got burned bad. And uh, even though the way it worked out, a lot of people would have thought that I had... Uh, hate and negative feelings for my ex in my heart. I really don't. It's perfectly reasonable to expect that. It, 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 it could have been, but I really don't. It's also perfectly reason, reasonable to not have it. Um, But the fact of the matter is I got out of that marriage, but my life has never been good since. So what do you think is the problem in your life now? I don't know. I don't know. You don't have a clue? I mean, it's got to be me somehow, some way. Well, what what do you think? I'm not sure. I don't know. Because I don't have you. enough. I don't have enough. I don't think it's probably not you. I don't have I don't enough interaction with, with relationships 
to tell you. Because relationships don't define a person. Listen, a but, person but, but they help define how you are. Can I just stop mm. this? This is great. Can I just interrupt for one second? There's a reason why I do a second podcast with you. Is it because you don't want me shrinking your friends? <laughs> no. It is because I have a handful of friends that I find very interesting. And pretty much they're standing in this room. <laughs> or sitting. He doesn't want me to shrink you. No, no, no. I want you to shrink him. <laughs> Out of all the fucking times I've had a conversation with this dude. I never really understood why he had a pro like where he was coming from with the last relationship other than your last relationship fuck with that your bitch. wife. Um the last that, real that, relationship. No, nah, I had one after You had that. a meaningful relationship after that? One. It was bitter? No. At the end? No. No? It was happy till the end? No. It was it just kind of Can you paint a better picture, please? It just dissipated. Okay. You grew apart? Um, she wanted something I wasn't ready for. She wanted to get married. She wanted a commitment. Oh, my so, goodness. And I was that's just a big done. fucking deal. Hey, and, listen, and, man. And I had just gotten divorced. That's so. that's perfectly reasonable for you to say no. No, you'll get married. Well, I mean, I had just gotten divorced. So, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, now I would. I'm, I, yeah. If you're going to do it again, so be absolutely sure. But, you know. A year and a half after the ten years. I if you're going to do it once, be absolutely sure. Right. <laughs> On the mouths of babes. I don't know about that. Actually. I have been absolutely sure. Yeah? Am I absolutely sure every day? Mm-mm. But have I had my days of absolute assurity? Sure. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. yes. Oh, my gosh, yes. No, I'm not. I'm not smart. I wash cars for a living, and I make a podcast with my drunk friends. But I'm not smarter than other people. I'm not. I'm not smarter than you. I'm not smarter than a single person in this room. Oh, stop. Every single stop. person in this room is as smart as me. You're not dumb. I'm not dumb, but I'm, nobody here is smarter than me. Or I'm not smarter than them. You see differently than we do. I take the opportunity to look. Anybody could see what I see. You just have to look. But but you don't have to want to. But here's the thing: your happiness doesn't depend on looking as what I look at. Your happiness isn't about what I see. It's not. And my happiness isn't about what you see. Look, man. I give a shit. I give a shit about what the people I'm around think. And I give a shit about what they think about me. But when it comes down to the end of the day, do I care more about what they think about me or am I here for me? Well, I will tell you, I am here for me. For me. I'm here for me. It's selfish. We are ourselves. To be not selfish is to be irresponsible with yourself. <laughs> Never heard it put that way. Oh, I, you owe it to yourself to be selfish. You owe it to yourself to find... Whoa, whoa I'm whoa. sorry. <laughs> Technical You're difficulties. Break this fucking Technically, I'm drunk. <laughs> I've made this point to you before, and you, I mean, you, oh, you know yeah. what? This brings me back to like a year ago. I made this point to you before, and you like wanted to discuss it with me, but we were in like a big group setting, and we couldn't discuss it. And I said that my feeling is that no human activity is without its selfishness. At some level, it pays. Do you give all your money to charity? Let me. Let's say you give two thirds of your income to charity. There's people that do That's that. That's fictional. No, no there's people that there's do people that. There's people that do Yeah, but if people you're saying do I do, that's fictional. That's oh, fictional. Oh, but there's okay. people that do that. Give two-thirds of your income charity. You know why? Unless charity Those counts as raising your kids. two-thirds of their income to charity? For one of two reasons. Either they feel 
personally more satisfied and they sleep well at night knowing that they're a good person or because their God told them to. Pentecostals, which is what I am born again, their church suggests about a third of your income. You know, yeah. it's a it's a <laughs> passive kind of fictional number that gets kicked around. The Mormons is forty percent. The Mormons are forty percent. I know because we just lost my niece to that cult. They're a potentially terrific source of uh, of faith. I mean, I have seen the strength of the Mormon fellowship. That's I have true. Too. I it I have seen that faith pull somebody out of cancer. I have seen it. I was there to see it. <laughs> I've also seen but the I've placebo seen, effect cure people. Yeah, I've liver definitely failure. seen that too. But if if I had the cancer and I believed that it would work for me, you That's, bet your ass I would set shell with that shit. It. You nailed it, but though, I don't think dude. it would. I don't think that would be the thing that saves me. But you said it's the not word. my path because it's not your path. But you said the word in there that means it all. It comes down to the basics of it, man. Believe. He said the word believe. If I believed that, that could save my life, it would save my life. And you know what? If you believed with every fiber of your being, absolutely it could. Because you are capable more. Than you could ever imagine. I really want to share with you an epiphany that I had recently. You know what? Do you mind? No. We're okay. doing a new thing, man. This is Air Rec meets a podcast meets <laughs> speak your fucking mind, man. We are recording, right? Oh, I've been recording. Good. <laughs> Good. You should have been recording all night, but it's a learning curve. Yeah, right around that big dome so, of my head. Corey, you'll recall that's a learning lump. <laughs> that's different. <laughs> I'm sorry, Corey. <laughs> Don't be I sorry. only meant that in the most hurtful way that it could be. <laughs> as long as it was still hilarious. Just this side of hurtful and big In recent times, it turns me the only person who can hurt my feelings is your wife. So that's good. That's almost the only person that can hurt my feelings. <laughs> Where am so, I? agree, says the peanut gallery. <laughs> You'll recall that I recently described on the uh, on the B reel that I that I believed in in a cloud kind of soul. You recall this? This is a long. Are you talking about non-localized consciousness kind of thing? I'll break it down briefly, if the floor will bear it. Um, Feel free, sir. Briefly, my previous belief was that, like a cloud, is a whole cloud until it starts raining. Well, then it is an individual. Then it's a bunch of little pieces. And to me, we were always that bunch of little pieces. And and. No two raindrops are the same until there's been enough repetition that two raindrops are actually the, the same. The same because the probability factor implies that that sooner or later they will be the same two raindrops in the same two theory. spaces made out of the same molecules. They will eventually be the exact same raindrops in the exact same circumstances given enough rotations. Does that mean on our planet? In our time? No. In our universe? No, it doesn't. No, well, it, it, it does, but it doesn't. It does, but it doesn't. It's, welcome yes. to quantum physics. Um, I've I've recently had a realization that 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 it's complicated. She did. Wow, really? I I I have talked spiritually with Lily, and I've enjoyed those conversations. She is. I've heard this. She might be right. I've heard this. She may be I've right. I've heard this talk before. No, not quite no. the same, but not not no, quite the same. No, she knows exactly what I'm talking about. I've heard this 
the streaming state I don't that buy we will wake the, from. Yeah, I don't buy into that. But have you heard that talk before? I know yeah, you have. Yeah, I have. Sure. Yeah. A lot of people believe this is a dream that we're meant to wake from. And that's, that's I mean, that's one way to look at it. And it's no more right or wrong than my cloud thing. It's It's... Sooner or later, you're going to be the same dreamer. You're going to have the same. You ever had a recurring dream, Bill? No, I I, I never have. But it's, it's I have had a dream that was a premonition. You've never had a recurring I've dream. I've never had a recurring dream ever. But yeah. you've had a premonition. I have had a nightmare. No, no, I have. You don't had have a work a nightmare? nightmare. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Sit up closer no. to me so the mic catches yeah, you. I, had it once. I only had a nightmare once. Uh, I had one nightmare in, that I can in in in, in in my adult life the only the, my adult life the only nightmare I remember is my son was probably around four or five years old at the time and I woke up in a cold sweat because I dreamed that we were in Disney World or Disneyland I don't know because I've never been to either. And you want to be at Disney World. And he got on the monorail and it took off without me. And I watched him leave the monorail station. That was the nightmare. Was that before or after your son passed? It was before. How old can I ask? How old how old did your son live to be? Twenty four. Man. Yeah. What an investment. Yeah. Oh. He was awesome, right? Yeah, he was pretty cool. He was pretty cool. But uh, that's the only nightmare. But I did have a, a, a premonition dream once. And I dreamed when I was like probably 12 or 13. I was junior high. I had a dream. And I dreamed I was in this place. And there was a picnic table. And I was talking to some kids over the picnic table. Blah, 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 blah turned 14 and I went on a youth group camp out and we're all sitting in the cabin around the picnic table and that was the dream that I had dreamed a year earlier. That's it? That's the only weird dream kind of things I've ever had. That one premonition and the nightmare. Never a recurring dream. Never. Man, I still Of course, have. I haven't slept in 20 years either. So. All right. There's a certain amount of recognition of dream that has to be included in this equation. Sure, yeah, you can have a dream and not remember it. And um, Absolutely. and I believe that the, the ingredients to that are few and far between. What you eat, what you drink, what you smoke, what you sleep about, what you think about, high stress level in your life, as to what you remember about the way you dream or the way that you, even the way you daydream. Yeah. Ever catch yourself daydreaming? And then snap yourself back to reality and then can't remember what you were daydreaming about? You ever talk out loud because you were experiencing an embarrassing moment? That's how I do it. That's how I handle it. I talk out loud. No, I've had some cringeworthy moments in my life where I have been recalling them and have spoke out loud. Ah, stupid. You know, you know what like well, that. Nikki said she's with kids all day and she finds herself talking out loud because she's dying to hear, talk to another adult. Because you want you miss adult interaction is what it is. <laughs> I do when I'm having a pro profound like flashback to like another. I often unembarrassing say the term I meant to do that, <laughs> and I'm not even joking. One time when I was in, I think it was eighth grade English class. I went up and I was so fucking proud. I answered the question and I knew what the story was about and I, 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 I presented to the class eloquently. What is this that we're talking about? Is this a memory? Yeah, one of those things. A real life memory. I keep. I say to myself a lot. I meant to do that oh. because it's a real life memory of a moment that I was like mortified. As you were saying, yes. And I. Uh, I knew the question, and I answered the question perfectly, and I knew what the story was about, and I eloquently stated it to the class, and then I had to get up to turn in my report to the teacher, and I stood up and tripped over the back back that was next to my seat and went ass over tea kettle. 
in front of the entire 30 person class. Yes, hi. Full of the pretty girls in eighth grade. And I was so proud of myself right up until the moment where my head hit the floor. <laughs> Sorry. And I oh. I really went ass over tea kettle and stood right back up into the roll. I turned around and looked at my backpack and said, I meant to do that. I'm going to be an actor. <laughs> I'm going to be an and actor. And it in my paper. <laughs> nice. Nice. Good recovery a lot. I meant From to. now on, every once in a while, I'll just say, I meant to do that. <laughs> I'm an actor. <laughs> uh, Just quick relate to your... But it's amazing whether you have recurring dreams or a thought that comes back to you or just a deep belief that you think about from time to time. We all seem to reach for that same strange set that's just one step beyond us. Here's the thing. The mistakes you made in your past are familiar. Even if they mortify you. Even if they're terrifying. They're familiar. You know the outcome. They're still like an old friend. You know the outcome. They are your friend. They oh. made you. Those damnable, terrible things that happened to you in your past. They're part of you. That broke your heart. That did whatever they did to you. They're part of you. And whatever you are, whatever you, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be strong. You hope to be strong. I just happen to be strong. You don't have to be great. I'm not talking about Some older. people hope Fucking to be great. Fucking me, motherfucker. Sorry. You on. don't have to be passably acceptable, but everybody wants to be passably acceptable. Whatever your past conditions are, if I do my hair just right, I'm totally passable. Whatever your past conditions are, no. you hope that they're the best you could have made of them. That's what people hope. Right. There's nothing wrong with hoping for that. There's nothing wrong. That's exactly what you're supposed to hope for, I think, is that you've made the best of your past that you could. And even if it's not the best past you could have hoped for, even if it's not your dream past, it's the best past you could make with whatever fucked up shit came your way. So who in this room wants to get with me and do some mushrooms and find out if I'm right? <laughs> Anybody? Oh, pick me, pick me. <laughs> 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 Guess what? I I will guarantee you that I have the same percentage of accuracy as every other major religion. About 17%. <laughs> I will tell you in my history I have not needed hallucinogens to find the path. Oh, I don't for me. Need, but that's for me. I don't need the hallucinogens for that. I just want to go for the ride. I'm I don't not say that I'm say, against them. When I say that I endorse the hallucinogens, that I don't even know really much about because I haven't experienced them. But I I want to take that ride. Um, I'm not saying that that's for everybody. I'm saying that some people probably just can reach that state on their own. But there's a lot of us, you know, like me, with their giant you, potato-shaped heads. When you say and their hairy knuckles. It's actually not giant. But when you say hallucinogens... I mean, you, you know, the thing is... You're but you're right. Whiskey does do the there, same thing. There is two major categories here. You, you're talking man-made or natural. And I got to tell you, if you're doing the natural... No, 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 no. Natural's I'm, I'm fine. natural, baby. Okay. Because uh, I don't want to... I'm not against I got LSD. nothing... I know I'm out of whiskey. I'm not against LSD. But... But if, if my choice is like, if you went mushrooms... Or a pill, <laughs> or, no, a bladder. <laughs> or a bladder, or bladder. If your room was get your feet with, if your situations were get your feet wet with mushrooms, what words did you just say? Words, words. Know. They're just okay. words. If your stipulations were get your feet wet with mushrooms, <laughs> and then move on to something <laughs> I'll say was natural, I, whether it be peyote, masculine, whatever. Um, masculine. I was. Yeah, that's some masculine. Ayahuasca, DMT is actually a natural result of your own human genetics. (laughs) (laughs) 
Where was she when I got divorced? <laughs> no. No. That's what we're talking about. But we're talking about I, me specifically. I'm talking about not doing DMT. I'm not talking about doing DMT or doing mushrooms to get stoned. To be a fucking party animal. I mean reaching for fucking God. What's the difference? But can I ask you? Corey's gonna reach for God. Here. Hey, you and me are gonna have a good time and drink some beers with the mushroom. Hey, in all jokingness, in the forefront, let them. What exactly? Are we yeah, are we talking about? I'm sorry. I had I had something Listen, to say. I, I don't lost. know. I don't know. Me too. Because of my lack of experience, if the connection between me and that spiritual realm that I feel in my core exists, I don't know that I can't reach that connection via chemicals. And I don't know that other people can reach that connection without chemicals. Try the without way first. I'm just saying. I've done some meditation. Oh, I've done some ballet, but that doesn't mean I can do the fucking nutcracker. It's <laughs> just, just saying. Let's see position two. No, I, I've done some ballet means I've done some time at a ballet recital. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which is I also grueling. don't know. <laughs> I felt like I'd done something wrong in life to be one of those things. I also don't know that somewhere in the shamble that is the existence that we live in, is there a direct connection to the source of the si of the shambles that we live in? I know there is. I know there is. I don't know that there is. I don't. I I'm do. telling you what I'm. I'm telling you what I feel. Okay. Well, I want to tell you something fantastic. I know there is. I don't know that there is. Okay. How can you make him believe it? Though? I I can't you make him can't. believe it. He, he has to believe it for you himself. And he can only follow his own path to it. And I can try to tell him all day long that it doesn't have to do with drugs. But it doesn't not have to do with drugs. It's not specifically anti-drug. That's my point. My message is not anti-drug. My message is try no drugs first. Are you capable of reaching a state of consciousness that I'm not? Extremely possible, given the factor of the probability theorem. I, I think I, I don't know be. how many Extremely shots are involved. Extremely possible. I think there's a chance that I might be. There's not a chance, dude. It's extremely possible. Well, I think that's still a chance. That you can be possible reaching a, a state of enlightenment, a state of being, a state of consciousness, a state of thought that I am not capable of reaching. I honestly do believe on I my have a own thicker power. I, I want to tell you something that, that is... Uh, I would like to point out that I'm a little more ape-like than you. I. <laughs> All right. You laugh. He giggled, but he understands what I'm saying. Hey, Corey Ape, let me talk for just a second. Because <laughs> that's what I am. I, I, no, it's not a negative thing. It's just I might be a little more. I might be one step more Neanderthal. Than some of the other people around in my life. That's uh, what you're saying is ridiculous, but not ridiculous. I don't. I don't mean this with egotistical attachment, but I don't know how to say it without it. I don't know a Stacy without egotistical attachment. That's because I'm, I don't know that man. That's because I'm a confident. Your wife knows that man. I don't need to know him. I don't know if she does. I think that people think I'm an egotistical person, and maybe I am. Brother, I love you. <clears throat> yeah, people think that. Well, crazy people don't know they're crazy. Fair enough. I understand I that as well. I thought I was the sanest man in the world. The yeah, proof positive. Exactly. Crazy people is sane people know they're crazy. All I want to do is figure out how to make money off you fucking people. That's I don't, all. I, I can't help you with that. <laughs> Everybody, wouldn't hey. that be a twist? All we when can, I preach all this communist All we can do is be here. Beliefs, <laughs> and all I want to do is make money off you fuck. Here's the deal. At the straight and narrow, I draw a thicker cord of fate 
because I know I do. Yeah, fair enough. But I don't know how to tell you how to do it. You can't. You can't be I done. can't do it. You've you got to find your own path way. For your I, own. I can't tell somebody else because I only know what worked for me. And like it a, only worked for me because it did. Like a roof. Uh-uh. It's not for the next. <laughs> like a positive review we had on iTunes. <laughs> Was this the one I wrote? <laughs> to people that genuinely agree. Oh, this is the one I wrote. <laughs> but differ on individual circumstances. Uh, no. no, this was a review we had on... This was an iTunes review we got. iTunes we Anonymously. Review we from me. You're saying a lot of words. Yeah, that I don't get any of. Seeing as you don't have a microphone and nobody else can hear you. <laughs> don't we have another microphone? It's at my house. There's a reason for that. <laughs> nothing to do with her. No, I just needed a third mic at my, my house, so I took my mic back. I know you were. You're not, we're not beating you up. You're fine. Oh, my God. Gravity is always getting me down. No matter how thick a spread on fate I pull, it, it doesn't affect gravity at all. How about this? Gravity is the stronger force. How about this? I'm looking at the skies and I'm wondering one thing. You're looking at the skies and you're look you're wondering another. I have no idea whether you're looking at the skies and you're wondering anything at all. Is this a gay joke? But how about <laughs> about these guys? You know what? I was <laughs> a point and now I'm done. I was kind of interested in your point, man. So come on back. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to hear your point. I wanted to know what I was looking at. What if it's the Christian thing, the Muslim thing, the Jew thing, the fucking He's wicked thing? Yeah, well, I've been called worse by better. Sure, I've been called equal by better. <laughs> Shit, wicked I've been called thing. better by better. <laughs> what if it's just the human thing to look for something that's better than you? Does that mean that it's just the are human you telling us we're never satisfied? Does that mean we are that it's just a human condition, and that we're always looking for something better than us to aspire to greater um, consequences? Or does that mean that we're looking for something that is greater than us because we have a natural instinct to seek something that is already there? Well, here's here's a true thing, a true answer to your question. We are not what we are because we must be. We are what we are because we contemplate what we are. And what we are is not one thing. So As our education us, grows. Some of us are worse than what we are, and some of us are better than what we are. And some and of as us you are, pointed but out are before, we more we wear than the sum of our parts is the eternal question. Are we more than the sum of our parts? We certainly are. Or else we could not better humankind and someday populate the stars. And if we just live long... Someday? If tomorrow! We, yesterday, by some definitions. But by my personal definition, someday. Someday I know we will populate the stars Ooh. in a meaningful way. I know it. All we have to do is live long enough. And I know we will populate the stars. And humans will go forth in mass and we will colonize the galaxy. And we just will. Evil we just corruption. will. In it's that process. In, <laughs> in you that think process. It's evil. There's no evil. Evil's a fallacy. It's designed by a mind looking for answers. Let me ask you a question, Bill. I, don't, I disagree. Evil. Is light evil? Big corporation is, is evil. Let me ask you a question. Is no, light not. evil? It's still no, politicians. No, they're not. Also. I'm going to ask you for the fourth time into a microphone. Bill. Yes. Is light evil? Is light evil? I'm glad that Peanut Gallery asked what the definition of light is. And no, it's a pertinent question to the question I asked Bill. Is light evil? So what is light? What is light? Light is things that the we had. The absence of darkness. We 
light is something that we had no idea of its complexities until just recently. How many wavelengths of measurable to our science light is there? What's this? Doesn't matter. I, I'd like to answer this question, please. Oh yeah, uh, okay. Stacy is holding back out to a light big lighter. And evil. To yeah. my impression, under a halogen light, the big lighter is purple. How does it work? How does the lighter work or the yeah. color? Yes. The lighter. The lighter? Yeah. It, contol- it contains a pressurized gas called butane that is flammable. When you push the gas through the nozzle and introduce a spark from the foot reel that is at the top of the lighter, it creates flame, which is a burning oxygen result. That is a terrific definition. How do you know that? Hmm. That's a very good question. Um. I know that it creates fire via observation. And I know what fire that? is. I don't know how I know what fire is, but I know what fire is. But in what ways did you observe flame? Yeah. In what ways did I observe a flame? Yes. Mm-hmm. With what is known as the five human senses and maybe much more than that. But there's no flame coming out of that light. I would like you to answer this question a little more directly, please. How did you observe? How did I observe the flame? Yes. Um, well, I observed a light fluctuation with my light sensory... Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Your optic nerve. My optic nerve, which Perceived is a light sensory light. perception um, it, organ. Uh, That's there, what I'm looking for. There organ. was a, a, an organic variance in light reception. And I observed an increase in light. Now, as organic animals, what does it turn out that we are all here to do, would you say? Personally? Procreate. In order to achieve what goal? uh, Sustenance. To sustain. In order to procreate the breed, in order to exist. To what further end? Past existence. What are existing creatures prone to doing? Evolve. Dying. I don't know where you're going with it. Existence turns to evolution, um, which turns to better right. existence. Okay, let me take it back a step. You you took a, a you a took left a, on you, you took a fork. I took a left on you. That was not the my fork. My bad, brother. No, my bad. Cool, cool. Your fork wasn't wrong. It would just keep leading in that direction's fork without getting to the answer to the question, which was the other fork and could be achieved. At a very early pace. All life exists to observe. See, oh, the observation of oneself inside the universe. Physics begets... Uh, physics begets... Narcissism? No. Yes, it does. <laughs> physics begets chemistry. Chemistry begets biology. Biology observes. That is true. Physics develops a thing that will develop a thing to look at physics and recognize it. It is the natural state of life to observe. That's the reason life has sensory perception. Aren't you glad you're acing it over there? (laughs) No, 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 no. She's not out of the loop. She's not out of the loop. She asked a question in the middle of it that was very pertinent. I said she answered to observe, and she said, what? People? At the very rudimentary of that, she's absolutely correct. Life exists to observe itself and the environment when the environment when an amoeba existed when an amoeba in order for an amoeba to eat another amoeba what must it do first it must first observe that there's food there its purpose in life is to observe okay and then use that observation to grow itself but its first function is observation you have to observe that's what we're here for. What happens are, when you've observed too much? No, no, no. no. You <laughs> You're taking it too personal. At the at, at the end of this question, at the other side of this, it's not very personal. Sin- it's math. At the very end of this cyclical 
reciprocating kind of question. And I don't know that you agree that it is, but it is a cyclical reciprocating kind of question is we exist to observe ourselves and the universe that we exist in. But we are, in fact, made of yes. the universe that we exist in. Yes, the universe is vain. It made us to look at itself. Exactly. We are its mirror. That's what we are. So We're here to see it. Let's just tie that back around to some a podcast it kind of talk. It made us, and we're here to look at it. What do you think the probability of another facet of us to look at it exists? One. one. I believe it's one. The I probability is one. Yeah. And you know what one is? Uh, perfection. Certain. It's, certain. it's the total. It's, it's the perfection. Certain. It's the certain. The probability of something else that observes it is one. The the probability that we are not the only observers in the entire universe. Are you dicking at me? The are you taking a piss? <laughs> the probability the same of us being is. the only observers in the universe is what? One. No, that we are not the only. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, no, no. The proof that we are observers of the universe is indefinite. That's one. That's one. That's that's also one. I mean, that's. But that's one to an indefinite one. Right. Because we have proof of one's existence. One is 100%. That's what we have proof of one's existence because of us. Right. But. I want to smack a hoe. I believe there's others. Me Other too. observers. I, I do believe that. So also. do I. I have a dog. He observes things. If I have a dog, what are the odds that another fucking planet somewhere out there doesn't also have a dog? How about the <laughs> dolphin <laughs> thing? The dolphin How thing. How about the dolphin <laughs> thing, dude? With the blowfish. <laughs> Dolphins on video have been caught catching blowfish in their mouth. Absorbing the toxins, getting stoned off of it, passing it to the next dolphin, swimming to the surface, and either staring at the moon or their self in the reflection of the daylight. You know, dolphins are also one of the only other mammals that have sex for fun. There (laughs) you go. Guess what? You want another little fun fact, Mr. Microphone Aerobics? I'm sorry, Stacy isn't here for this. <laughs> Dolphins are one of the only species on the planet that kill for fun. There you go. There Bingo. you go. Bingo. She's a bright so girl, what do you she? fucking think the odds are <laughs> that we're not the that we're not the only dominant species? <laughs> Corey, Corey, we have a third show right there. (laughs) Oh, we already have Air Rack and a podcast for this week. I don't even know what we're going to do for a third show tomorrow. I have my audiobook thing coming up. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm lost. Ah, that was kind of long and tedious. Uh, thank you for making it all the way through this block of content. That was either the worst podcast we've ever made, or maybe the best, because we weren't actually making a podcast. few things before we wrap up this wonderful episode of Air Rec Radio. Uh, we want to remind the listeners that me and Stacy are headed to Nashville this Friday, January 24th, to check out our friend's Revolution Theory, uh, Rockin' the House. Stace and I will be probably showing up at around 8, but I believe the doors are at 5.30 because it's a benefit concert with live music all night long with no cover. Make sure you make a donation. Also, real quick, uh, we have to announce the ROCpodcast.com birthday party, which will be Saturday, February 1st at the Firehouse Saloon at the quarter of Megs in South Clinton at 10 p.m. It's a 21 and over show. I believe it's a $6 cover. Uh, but that $6 cover is going to buy you Isotopes Karaoke. 
with a long featuring line of talent and hosted by our very own podfather, Vinny Paulino. So make sure you make it down to that and check that out. Also, coming up on the show this week, episode 37, is Jay and Ace from the Mental Overload Show, who are another show on the ROC Podcast dot com network uh we can't wait to have them in to see what their opinion on our uh news and crap is uh also uh coming up in the following week i'm stepping on over to the monday medicine show at under the skin dot tv uh those guys are also on the rlc podcast network and i believe stacy's gonna try to slide on to uh second prince and interrupt their podcasting on the same day, and they're also an ROCpodcast.com network. Maybe you can see a pattern here, people. I don't know if you can, but if you can't, you need a good dose of sassafras tea. It's late in the afternoon, the sun rising high. There's nothing to do around here, and if there was, well, I wouldn't try. Taking my comforts. Taking good care of me Sitting down in my easy chair Taking a sip of my sassafras tea Now wouldn't you know it There goes the phone again It's probably just another wrong number But someone tried to send me something I can't even see well Got the solution How to deal with this insanity Just sit down in my easy chair And take a big sip of my sassafras tea Thank you. 